Hi and welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to use a feature in Waveform that allows you to choose the notes of your chord or your scale based on the color. Now the color can match either the chord from the chord track or it can match just the scale based on the key and the scale setting of the song in the tempo track. I'm going to show you how these work. You may have seen these settings in the settings tab and didn't really know what they did. There's actually a few different, like three different things going on here. Highlight the current key in the MIDI background is different from these other ones. Highlight the current key in the MIDI background sets the piano roll to reflect the key. So I'm going to explain that first. To do this, I'm going to pull the settings tab loose and then I'm going to rearrange this so that we can see it off to the side. I'm going to put the settings tab over to the right side. There, now we can see these. And I've set up an edit here with one MIDI clip so I can show how these things work. So I'm going to double click on the MIDI clip and now you can see the piano roll view or the MIDI editor. Now notice the key of the song is in C and with this feature turned on, highlight the current key in the MIDI background, basically the scale is shown in the normal way. Now in the key of C, the black notes line up with the dark shading and the white notes show as light gray. So you might think that this does nothing if you turn it on or off, but if we change the key, let's just change the key to C sharp do C sharp major. Now you can see that the black notes are, are shifted. And it will actually track if you do a key change within the song. So I'm going to change this one back to C major and then out here at bar three, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut option P, that would be Alt P uh, depending on your keyboard, to insert a key change. Now if I click on this C here, and we'll just change this to E flat, and you can see that it actually switches on that key change. So we've got the black shading switches because the half steps fall in a different location. So now as you're doing MIDI editing, you can use this as a reference. So you can use this as a reference. If you want to keep your chords in the key, then you just keep them on the lighter gray spaces. So this is kind of cool. It's kind of useful. It's a little bit different way of thinking of the piano roll. What if you're used to seeing it always reflect the notes in the key of C. So I'm going to undo back out of this and show you another way to do this. So honestly, I usually don't prefer to use this feature here, so I leave this turned off. That way, the black notes on the piano roll line up with the background shading in the conventional way. But I do like to use the note color options here. And there's four different sliders here that let you adjust the note colors. This is the chord note in the key color, chord note out of key color. This rarely if ever shows up in reality, so I leave it pushed all the way to the right. I suggest you copy what I've done here, make the chord note green and the in key note color blue and then the out of key note color red. So these are the three that really work. Now you're going to need to change these differently if you're colorblind because you might not be able to actually see or differentiate between these colors. But the way I use it, what I will then see is that the chord note is green, a note in the key that's not in the chord is blue, and a note that's completely outside of the key and the chord shows up in red. Now the chord colors don't show up unless you're using the chord track. So first I'm gonna show you how it works without the chord track, meaning we're gonna see blue and red notes only. So back on my MIDI clip, I'm just gonna put in any note that's one beat long. I think I'll change this to four beats long. And you'll see that note is yellow. So that's not related to what we have over here. 
For this to work, you need to turn on this multicolor note feature in the MIDI editor. So right at the end of all these note colors, these are just solid colors, you have this multicolor note. Now you see that my note is in this blue color. If I drag it up, you can see at this point it turns red, meaning it's out of the scale and key. So if you want to start to build chords around this, I'm going to just hold down Command and copy this note. Now that's a little bit too low, so I'm going to... So I'll just select these, transpose this up one octave. Now I have created a toolbar to make working with notes a little easier for myself. So I'm going to turn that on by opening this toolbar section here. And this allows me to go down an octave. So there's that chord. I'll just uh, duplicate it. And now I can move these around and as long as I use blue notes as I drag them around from the key, they'll be in the key. I can use three note chords or four note chords and then everything I choose here I know will be in the right key. Now that might not be the most beautiful song, but at least the notes are in the right key. And it gives me a starting point if I wanted to say run the arpeggiator or start to actually compose something. Now let's add chords to this in the chord track. So up in the chord track, I'll put in a clip to where I've got four chords and I think I'll just choose a common four chord progression, maybe something with four different chords like this. And now look what happens. So the green is now my in chord color and blue is in the scale of the key, but it's not actually part of that chord. So if I could quickly adjust this by just dragging this until they turn green and then I know I've got all the notes that are in the chord, or at least I'm using notes from within the chord. Can just drag this around. So now just using those colors, I have just adapted that. Now if I want to change my key signature from C to something else, let's just change the key signature to G. Now immediately you can see that I have shifted to where a lot of my notes are outside the chord. They're within the key, but then I've got some that are neither within the chord nor the key. So then I could quickly make an adjustment to these as well by just moving them appropriately to pick up the new key. But what's even more interesting is if I change it from, change it to perhaps maybe change it to a minor key. So I'm stacking a few additional notes on top. There, so I stacked a few notes on top. These are all chord notes, but I can use the key notes to start to build out a, me a melody along with some other tools. So let's split this one I can use command slash to split any MIDI note. And we'll just 
shorten it up a little bit. I'm also going to select all of these notes and randomize the velocities so that's a little less mechanical. And let's just go to a different kind of sound in collective here. Aphoristic piano. So I'm going to just play around with this using a combination of features here. I'll copy this. We'll duplicate it. I've got a split. I'll just hit that a few times. Now with this, I could start to move these notes around to create some kind of a pattern. You can see that note's out. It doesn't sound right. Split this. So in the MIDI editor, the way scrolling and panning work is you put the mouse over the timeline and rolling the wheel zooms in. And at that point, shift will allow you to pan back and forth. I've also created buttons in my quick toolbar here to adjust like the note end. So if I click on this, I can adjust my note ending length by nudging. I can duplicate that a few times. Another trick in the editor is to move this. You can either grab the cursor and drag it, or you can hold down Option and click to bring the cursor wherever you are. It's, it's really kind of uh, a lot of fun, and I'm using the colors here to make these edits. So I'm going to turn snapping off and I'm going to, I'll split this one and duplicate that. We'll try to create an ascending line here. I've, I haven't worked this out in advance. I'm just playing around to come up with things to see what kind of sounds good. Let's uh, double this one as well. and also flip it up. You could use nudge if you hold shift and use the arrow. Split is one of my favorite things to do on here. So earlier I did this same exercise and came up with something completely different. Here is something I did a little while ago. And I use the exact same technique, but the idea is that I used these blue notes as some passing tones. I stuck, in this case, more to the scale, and I've got this set up in a C minor scale. And it's just a lot of fun, and it's a different way to create within waveform. And now you could take advantage of this note color feature, which is on the settings tab in the appearance page in waveform. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.